Allow me to take you to the village for a minute. What's good, people? Hello. Um, hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Kelsey Even you welcome if you're all up in that ear. I know the vibe is. I'm sorry, I'm excited. I fucking love skincare and I'm sorry if you clicked this video hoping for like an aesthetically pleasing quiet video to watch this is not the type of video that you are looking for I'm going to be shouting because look at me look at my skin look at how soft it is like why would I not shout come on now anyways today we're going to be lighting a candle from Meets Wex and it's a peppermint candle. Y'all already know what my basic skincare routine is for the week. But I just, I was, I've been down. I've been in the funk. And I just felt like I needed to jizz it up a bit. So I got a steamer, a face steamer finally. Um, no more hot towel and um, bowl. <laughs> got a face steamer. And I steam my face for about five minutes before I start shaving the hair off my skin. And when I shave my skin, my face, I like to use aloe vera gel. Everybody knows that. Um, like, I mean, if you, if you have watched my previous skincare videos, you know that I like to use aloe vera gel with my skincare routine. It's just so much easier than having to get an aloe vera plant and cut it and yeah, try to detox it, get out the poison from the leaf and then the, like, so much work. I just use aloe vera gel, which is made from aloe vera powder, which isn't as potent as the actual aloe vera plant would be, but you know. It works. It gets the job. It gets the job done for you know a low budget skincare, hair care, whichever one you use it for. Uh, I angle this laser so that I'm able to get all the hairs out, and I'll show you right here. And I just go through my entire face with a blade. I steam my face for about 30 minutes after dermal planning and then pore section. <laughs> now that your pores are softened up, you know, because you've been steaming yourself. You want to suck out all that pus. Just suck it out. And honestly, I feel like I'm weird in the sense where I actually like doing things for myself rather than having to go to a nail salon or having to go to a spa and have somebody else, you know, do it for me sometimes. I kind of like pampering myself. It's a different type of, you know, self-care is really the best type of care. And I mean, people have different thoughts of how self-care or what self-care is like you know you'd be using your money and paying for services and that's self-care but i feel like using my own hands to show my skin some love is my own form of self-care so i just go through my face with this and funny enough i didn't have a lot of pus this time around i guess i've kind of been you know, taking care of my skin this month. <laughs> but, you know. Because I haven't used this thing in a month. So, I don't know. But, yeah. Now my face is red. I gave myself a hickey on the other side of my face. I'm going to use my detoxifying mask, which is a bentonite clay mask. And I kind of, I think when I was running out of my asset clay mask, which is still bentonite clay, I like those. I poured it all in there. And then I add aloe vera gel and my Amara oil into the mix. Yeah, into the mix. And that just keeps the gel for, from like 
claim being more of a more of a clay mask and being I mean being less of a clay mask and being more of a mud mask because you don't want it to dry up so much. Clay is so drying and I hate that, but I love this mask because when you keep it wet, it actually does more detoxifying than when you actually let it dry up. Unless you have dry skin, I mean oily skin or whatever, then I guess I understand having to do that. <laughs> and I would say keep this mask away from your face, your eyes, because you will tear up. I, I just, I'm a lazy 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 person and i just i just be spreading i like to spread stuff around and you know, that's why i'm suffering you see me i'm tearing up it's not funny it's not funny at all <laughs> i'm regretting it like i'm like should i do i even enjoy am i even enjoying this mask right now no anyways but it got better so i started seeing the mask so that it doesn't get too dry and this actually, I don't know if that just made, it made my skin feel so amazing. Like just instantly after just taking off the mask, y'all will see that my skin, my skin looks giving already. It's just so beautiful. <laughs> So I'm going to wet my towel and I'm going to wipe my face with the towel. Um, I'm going to get the Kula Detoxifying Profound Gel Cleanser and lather that all over my face while I'm steaming. Now, I've seen people steam their face and cleanse it at the same time. Usually, I just get warm water and dampen my face and then put the cleanser on top. But I'm not going to lie. I freaking love this method when it comes to like my at home spa days like if i were to do my, my probably i'm probably gonna start doing these monthly <laughs> um but this just gave my face a whole new feel like look at my skin look at my skin you can't tell me that i do not look good already like my skin don't look good already like it's not cursing them like it. So I'm gonna use this toner. It's mostly just witch hazel and a little bit of vitamin C um, powder in there, but it's not yellow, so I explain it. Now I'm gonna use the Chioma Brightening Serum from Forlicious Naturals Chioma line. And this is a turmeric based serum. It helps with dark spots, it helps with scarring and helps with heavy pigmentation it's, it, it helps just even out your skin and it doesn't have a weird scent to it it's all natural organic skincare now i'm going to use the avon and the vitamin c serum i'm still iffy about vitamin c serum i don't really think it works that all that well for me i feel like vitamin c tablets work better but i will keep using this serum until it's finished because i put 20 something dollars for it so yeah um then i'm going to use the ordinary i don't know why this bottle is so hard to open i will file a complaint with the ordinary but anyways they're hyaluronic acid serum and i like to get those that under my eyes my like you know where i'm prone to have wrinkles my smile line everything get that because 
However, I said has really made a difference in my skincare routine ever since I started using it. I started with the Felicious Naturals serum, and then I, I just wanted to try something new with the ordinary because TikTok made it seem like this was just an amazing product, and I really don't like it that much. I'm going back to my Felicious Naturals Hyaluronic Acid <laughs> based products. Um, that thermal roll up is cold. I have had it sitting in ice, so I'm not acting weird. I'm just being honest. This is me unwinding. So from all the heat, I'm now closing up my pores and letting my skin breathe properly. And I do that for about three minutes, both my eyes and like one minute on my eyes and my face for three minutes. And then I'm gonna use the CeraVe moisturizer mixed in with my sun, my SPS. And look at this look. And then I get my gouache. Gouache, gouache. I get my gouache. Now, TikTok made me buy it. <laughs> but I actually love this thing. I've seen a I've seen a difference between my jaw and chin lately. It's been really firming up my face. Like I don't think I have that much of a double chin anymore. Um it really does open up your lymph nodes and I mean, not over the deflame de your lymph nodes. Is that what TikTok has been saying? But yeah, it does help with puffiness and all that. I like it. I love it. I will definitely be adding it to my skincare routine from now on every day. <laughs> um, and that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you like to unwind. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Peace. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch y'all in my next video. Bye.